How the fish is, uh, is just uh, it's just natural because uh, the parents they go out and catch fish and I go along with them and I watch them make them harpoons or spears or, or any kind of uh, equipment to catch salmon. And without them telling us, we watch them and see the material that they're using, we get along and start making it ourselves. It isn't everybody that can catch salmon. It's young people and strong guys, they go out there and they make a trap and they throw them up on the beach and the women and old people, they go there and they put through that fish up for the winter. This was community work right through. Now we have a hard time because there's no more community work. The people was never hungry, and they're always jolly. They're always happy. There was no unemployment, nothing. There was no government to feed them. Now the people are fed by the government, and some of them are having quite a time right now. Gosh, government don't give them enough. The Indians, they save the fish. They don't destroy it. I said, what about the sport fishermen? What about the commercial fishermen? I said, them are the guys that you want to adjust in any way you want. I just don't take that salmon off the native table. That's what we live on. You think we're going to stop eating just for those guys who catch a lot more money? I says, no, you're not. You never will. <laughs> <laughs> When we started fishing, well, we used to gaff hook them, and we had sheds over here along the Birkenhead. We just gaff hook them, and we had sheds there where to dry them, barbecue them, and salt them. But now we moved down to the lake, and we gill, use the gill nets to catch them. We got the camps down there, and we stay down there from September, or August to October. They didn't have. Uh, keep tab on what we catch in those days, but now they want to know how much you catch, how much, you, how many you dry in the smoke and freeze. Well, they think they'll be pushing us, but uh, we don't like it. We don't like it, see? That's how we survive. <laughs> how to cut fish when I was about 12 years old. And my grandmother was the one that taught me how. I had a small little shed of my own, you know, where I first started cutting fish. Ever since then, I've been cutting fish. I always cut it right from the back, and then when I get through uh, down uh, uh, to the middle, you know, and I flop it over, and I use the knife this way again. Always from the back, backbone, it's a little too thick, you know, so you'll have to cut a, a strip off, you know, and then dry that, and that's just as good. So they dry easier, you know. So sometimes they have a bag full of those, what we call them, the, the quilt, they call it. 
Hunter's just pack lotions in there. Said that's better than anything else. And just leave the pack and it just go along and just, they just chew it. That's all. <laughs> I always say that you can't beat nature. There's no use trying to adjust it. Just adjust yourselves. An Englishman by the name of Litchelwood came to Seton Lake. He blocked, he blocked the outlet of the river at Seton Lake. He just dammed it so no fish can go. After the, they've already had the hatchery built. And they stopped the fish from coming up the river. And they catch the fish there and squeeze the the salmon roll out of it, he squeezed the eggs out of it, and put it into this hatchery. In about four years' time, there wasn't a fish came up. They had to destroy the hatchery. They done kill all the fish. You see, they squeezed the, the young ones out before they got to the natural spawning ground. And that was about 40, 50 miles this way. They stop them way down there and squeeze the eggs out and they. I said, the government itself don't know, but he sent people, smart people like you guys, to pay them big wages. Well, every time he asked, he'd say, good, real good, doing fine, we're doing fine, we've got millions of it and all that. They're doing good as long as they get that pay, that's all. They don't think of you or me or, or the next generation. As long as the river runs and the lake is there, we'll do our fishing. <laughs> right? Hey, hey, hey. 